Today we're going to talk about box plots. Before we do so, let's talk about our last lesson for measure of spread, which involves uh, interquartile range, quartile 2, quartile 1, quartile 3, and range. So determine the range, median, first and third quartiles, and interquartile range for each data set. Determine any outliers. So let's see. Miles driven to see a space shuttle launch. So someone drove 14 miles, someone drove 19 miles, the other were our teens. In our 20s, someone drove 27 miles, 28 miles, 28 miles, someone drove 30, and someone, wow, someone even drove all the way for 51 miles. Well, first of all, this is, must be the outlier. Okay, this person is completely different from the others. So we know what the outlier, this is the outlier. So let's find the range. The range is where you find the minimum, which is 14, and the maximum, 51. The range, subtract this, is 37 is the range. That is the spread from one end all the way to the other end. So we check for 37 is the range. Let's find the median. Median is the halfway point where 50% of the data is above or upper, 50% of the data is lower. So the median, do, 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 the median is 28. Another way to describe that, that is quartile 2. So quartile 1, what's, this is the lower half. This is the upper half. What is the median for the lower half? 19. So this must be quartile 1. What is the median for the upper half? 30. So this must be quartile 3. So we found quartile 1, quartile 2, quartile 3. Quartile 2 is the median of the whole set. Quartile 1 is the median for the lower half. Quartile 3 is the median of the upper half. Again, what are quartiles? We break the data into quarters or to fourths or 25%. 25% of the data is right here. 25% of the data is right here, 25% of the data is right here, 25% of the data here. That's why this is the median, so 50% of the data is below it, 50% is above it. And now, last but not least, find the interquartile range. To find the interquartile range, you subtract quartile 3 and quartile 1. So quartile 3 is 30, quartile range 1 is 19, you subtract that, you get 11, is the interquartile range. All right, so we're going to take what we just learned, and we're going to learn how to make box plots. So taking the quartiles, taking the range, the minimum, the maximum, and um, we can draw a box plot. So a box plot is used to display a set of data so that you can easily see where most of the numbers are. So it breaks them into quarters or 25% parts. So how do you do this? First of all, you have to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. Then you have to find the median of all the data, which is a quartile 2. Then you find the median for the lower half, which is quartile 1, or first quartile. Then you find the median for the upper half, which is third quartile. And then you find the least number you're using, the greatest number you're using, and then you plot it. So we're going to begin our first one. So we have all this set of numbers here. Let's put them from least to greatest. So we have a 7, 8, 7, 2, 8. We have two nines. We have a 11, a 12. We have a 13, 14, and 15. So we put them in. Let's find the median. That's the middle of it. Blink, think, think, think. So the median is right here between 9 and 11. So the median has to be 10. So that means half is right there in the smack halfway. So I mean half of it is below, which is the lower half. Half of it is above it, that's the upper half. So first quartile, what is the median for the lower quartile? It must be 8. What is the median for the upper quartile? It must be 13. So the first quartile is 8. The third quartile is 13. What is the least number you see here? 7. What is the greatest number you see here? 15. Another way to say is, what is the minimum? 7. 
What is the maximum? 15. And now what is the interquartile range? Oh, that's subtracting quartile 3 and quartile 1. So 13 minus 8 is 5. All right, now from this, we are going to plot it. So what is the least number we're going to plot? 7. What is the maximum? 15. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you draw a dot for 15, you draw a dot for 7. What is the median? 10 is the halfway point. So draw a dot for 10. What is the first quartile? Quartile 1, 8. Draw a dot for 8. What is the quartile, third quartile? 13. Draw a dot for 13. So what you do in here is, it's called box plot. So you, for quartile 1, in quartile 3, you're going to draw a box. Then you're going to fill this in, draw a line down. Then you're going to connect this with this. So this is a box plot. A box plot is eight used to display numbers so you can see what quarter, what quarter, or what percentage it, the data is mostly in. As you can tell, most of the data are right here. 25% of data are between 10 and 13. 25% of the data are between 7 and 8. 25% of data is 8 and 9. And 25% of data are 13 and 15. So they have the same amount of data in each one. And so if you are given a box plot, can you distinguish the numbers? So 7 seems like this is the least number. 15 seems like it is the greatest number or maximum number. The median seems like it's this one. This seems like the median for the lower half, so this is called quartile 1. This seems like the median for the upper half, so this is quartile 3. If I wanted to find an interquartile range, I would subtract 13 minus 8, and that would be 5 for IQR. If I wanted to find the range for the whole data set, I would take the greatest and the least, 7, subtract it. So this is a box plot. So in a box plot, 25% of data are between these two set of numbers, between 7 and 8. 25% of data are between 8 and 10. 25% of data are between 10 and 12, and or is it 10 and 13, I mean. And then 25% of the data is between 13 and 15. So if someone said, where will you find 50% of the data? 50% of the data can be between 8 and 13, or another way to say it's 10 between 15. All right. Oh, I skipped one. Let's go back here. There is a cell phone provider. They are gathering information from students, several students, on the number of texts sent on an average day. Let's put the numbers from least to greatest. We have 11. We have 27, we have 15, uh, least to greatest, we have 35, we have 38, we have 41, and 43. What is the median or the halfway point? From what I can tell, the median is 35. What is the, this is the lower half, this is the upper half. What is the median for the lower half? It seems like it's 15. What is the median for the upper half? 41. What is the least number in this data set? 11. What is the greatest number in this data set? 43. What is the interquartile range? That is quartile 3 minus quartile 1. 41 minus 15 is 26. So let's graph this now. So our least is 11 and goes all the way to 43. 11, our maximum is 43. Oh, goodness gracious, 12, 13, 14, 15. You know what? I am not going to label this all. If you don't mind, I'm going to skip by every 5. So 11 plus 5 is 16. This would be 21. You know what? I'm just going to, I'm not even going to do that. It's going to take forever. So I'm just going to write the numbers that I need for this. Now, I should put it. 
So 5 is 16, 5 more is 21, 5 more is 26, 5 more is 31, 5 more is 36, and a 5 more would have been 41, so you have 43. As you notice, the scaling is really bad, so let me make it a little more neater. Much better. 31 should be right here. Much better. All right, so let's plot it. The least number is 11. Draw a dot. The maximum number is 43. Draw a dot. The median is 35. Draw a dot. So 35 would go right here. The uh, first quartile is 15. That would go right here. Uh, 41 is the third quartile. It goes right here. So, box plot. So this is the box. Connect this with this. And this is a box plot. So, you draw a box around the quartile 1 to quartile 3. This is the median. So, let's label this if you would like to label it. This is the least. This is the greatest. This is the median. This is quartile 1, or the median for the lower half. This is the quartile 3, or the median for the upper half. So, 25% of data are held in this itty bitty. So a lot of data is between 11 to 16. Or 11 to 15, I mean. 25% of data are between 15 and 35. 25% of data are between 35 and 41, and 25% of data are between 41 to 43. So as you can tell, this is really spread out. Even though a lot of people get tricked. I almost got tricked here. Even though this is really spread out, does it contain more data than any other section? No. Each of these are quarters or fourths. So fourth, 25% will be in here. So this has the same amount of data as this one. Even though this spread out more than this one, they both contain the same number of data. If you don't believe me, they, each one contains one data set. So now, if I give you a box plot, can you interpret now? Because the main thing I care about is can you really interpret a box plot? It's good that you know how to make it, but inter interpreting it is more important. This following box plot represents the number of books 20 students read during summer vacation. So from what I can tell, before I even look this, this looks like this is the minimum or the least. This looks like this is the maximum or the greatest. This right here looks like it's the median or the halfway point. This looks like this is quartile one, and this looks like quartile three. This is the median for the lower half. This is the median for the upper half. So, median. What is the median? It is 30. What is the first quartile? It is 25. What is the third quarter? 30, quartile 35. What is the least number here? 20. What is the greatest number here? 40. If I want... If I want to take it a step for, further, what is the interquartile range? What is the range for the two quartiles? If I take quartile 3, which is 35, and take quartile 1, which is 25, and subtract it, the interquartile range is 10. Alright, here's another one. So, what is the median of both plots? So, if you want to, let's label this. This is the least, this is the greatest. This is quartile 1, this is the median, this is quartile 3. This is the least, this is the greatest, this is quartile 1, this is the median, quartile 3. So what is the median of both sets? The median for both sets is 70. So, B, which plot has a smaller range? That means a smaller spread. From what I can tell, in A, it's it spreads out from 100 all the way to 50. So, 100 minus 50 is spread, or range, is 50. But for B, it seems like it's spread out more, from 100 to 40, which is 60. So A has a smaller range. Which plot has a greater interquartile range? 
It is B from the picture. And I said, but why? If you take quartile 3, which is 85, and you subtract it from interquartile 1. For quartile 1, it's 60. That is 25. It's the spread from, the, from quartile 3 to quartile 1. From here, there's only a spread of 65, 75, 15. What percent of the data in plot B is between 60 and 85? 60 to 85. So what percent is right here? Let's think. If each if quartiles are 25%, 25% is here, 25% is here, 25% here, 25% here. So 25 plus 25 is 50%. What percent of the data in plot A is greater than 80? So it's from here to here. Even though that looks like it takes up a lot of space, a lot of spread, is only 25% of the data that's in there. What, which plot has the greater variability in the bottom 50%? So let's look at the bottom 50%. Which one has more variability, more variety, takes up more space? That is B. Because if you look at B, it's more spread out. All right, now, here's another box plot. Which choice shows a set of data that can be represented by the box plot shown above? This is the least, this is the greatest, this is the median, this is quartile 1, quartile 3. So, if I look at A, 10 is the least, 28 is the greatest, they all work. Let's find the median. The median has to be 17. Do, 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 do. 17 is the median, so it could be that one. Do, do. 17 could be the median, could be B. Do, 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 do. 16 is the me median for this one. C cannot be the answer. What is the median for the lower half? Quartile 1 is the median for the lower half. It's going to be 12. 12 is the median for the lower half. According to this, quartile 3 is 20. That's the median for the upper half. This one's 21. Can't be A. This one's 20. The answer is B. B is A. So can you translate a box plot into a set of numbers? Looking at the thing, what tw uh, which one is not true? 25% of the values are above 20. So again, this holds 25% right here, 25% here, 25% here, 25% here. So 25% of the, of the data are above 20. That is definitely true. The range of the data is 18. That means the spread. Is it spread out by 18 from 10 to 28? 28 minus 10 is 18. Yes, it is. The interquartile range is equal to the, first of all, let's find the interquartile range. That is... Subtracting quartile 3 minus quartile 1, so 20 minus 12 is 8, is equal to the range of the fourth quartile. So going to the fourth quartile, that's the right here, 28 minus 20 is 8, so that is true. Number, letter D, 11 and 13 are part of the second quartile. So 11 is right here, 13 is right here. They're in completely different space. This is in the first 25%. This is in the second 25%. So that is false. So the answer is D. So what we mostly talked about here is how to interpret a box plot. If you're getting a box plot like this, can you find the median? It's right here in the center, or that line between quartile 1 and quartile 3. So in the box, you have quartile 1, Median quartile 3. Then you have least and greatest. 25% of the data are between each cuts. So between the least and the quartile 1, that's 25% of the data. 25% right here. 25% here and 25% here. And then from this, you can find the interquartile range. That is the subtraction of quartile 3 minus quartile 1. So this is box plot.